ادعو الى سبيل ربك بالحكمه والموعظه الحسنه وجادلهم بالتي هي احسن ان ربك هو اعلم بمن ضل عن سبيله وهو اعلم بالمهتدين بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبع الهدى السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters in Islam Today we're going to talk about the guidance of the Quran and why the Quran is so important for our lives as Muslims and why it is important as well to bring this guidance to non-Muslims as well The great and noble Quran which we believe is the best divine revelation from God contains the most comprehensive guidance in every aspect of our lives. The Quran is the last revelation that we believe God revealed to mankind. The Quran, this great and noble book, provides universal guidance to all laws, all morals, all ethics, all type of teachings which are the most correct, the most appropriate, the most just. And there's one verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this when he says, Inna hadha al-Quran yahdi lillati hiya aqwam. Indeed, this Quran guides to that which is the best that which is the most appropriate, that which is the most just. And this verse, it generalizes that the Qur'an contains guidance leading to the most appropriate, the most just and the best ways of life, providing solutions in all aspects of life unconditionally. And if we were to follow the other verses in the Qur'an which explain this verse, clarifying the specific ways in which the Qur'an guides to the best, to the most appropriate, to the most just, we would find that it is the Qur'an as a whole which does this. And this is because the Qur'an, the most blessed and most authentic and most preserved book on the face of this earth this is because the quran is comprehensive and all encompassing as to what it contains of guidance to good in this world as well as in the hereafter it contains how we should believe in our creator how we should worship our creator it contains the true bond and connection between human beings it contains how the quran and true Islamic faith positively change the individual. The Qur'an, it contains how Islamic faith and how the Qur'an's teachings can positively change society. It provides guidance in worldly development, how the Muslims should seek worldly development. Also, it contains rectification of individuals and societies through legal retributions and the prescribed expiations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions. It provides guidance for women, guidance for men, guidance for families, guidance for children, guidance for the elderly, guidance for the youth. It contains guidance for the Muslims in the year 2017 and it contained guidance for the Muslims living 1438 years ago so the reason I chose this topic my dearly beloved brothers and sisters and students are for many reasons okay and the most important being the dire need of all of mankind to know to realize and be aware of the guidance which this noble Qur'an contains. And this is from two aspects. The first aspect is the dire need of non-Muslims to recognize the guidance contained in this Qur'an. 
This is because mankind, in general, many of them are confused. Many of them are waving and uncertain in many aspects of their life. Everybody has their own religion. Everybody's in their own sect. They have their own method, their own system, their own ideology. The majority of these ways and systems that many non-Muslims follow are based upon man-made beliefs, personal desires, opinions, ideas, imaginings, and false hypotheses. Many people do not have a religion or a set of beliefs or principles to live their lives by. They have no treaty or guidance to show them and tell them what is correct. Tell them what is better and what things are more appropriate to do in their lives. Many people have been overwhelmed and consumed by consumerism, materialism, influenced by atheism, stubbornness, arrogance, and their lowly and base desires and they have been misled by doubts and false speculations. Many people unfortunately believe that religion is something old-fashioned, something defective, something retarded or backwards, something which leads people to fall behind, or religion is something that lacks that which the modern day life calls for. While many others claim that religion plays no role in the social behavior of individuals or communities or societies or countries. Many consider religion to be something which is separate from the political and state affairs and has no place or should have no influence in these matters. And this is what they claim. So we would like to remind them that there doesn't remain any divine revelation or any legislation, religious legislation, divine legislation upon the face of the earth, which is completely authentic, completely correct, and free from alterations, which exemplifies the correct beliefs, the correct divine laws, except for this noble Qur'an revealed from Allah to the final prophet Muhammad, May peace and blessings be upon him and all of the divine messengers. And for this reason alone, all of the creation and human beings in general, black human beings, white human beings, Spanish human beings, all human beings who walk on the face of this earth are in dire need of knowing the guidance which is contained in this holy book. Because it can provide the best of guidance for all human beings in all aspects of their lives. The Qur'an contains solutions that can solve the universal problems of mankind. The social problems, the psychological problems, the political problems, the economical problems, as well as the religious problems and fix them. The Qur'an contains solutions for the many complex moral and ethical problems which have affected many of our societies and many of those who know nothing about the Qur'an and nothing about Islam. This Qur'an is that which can guide all of mankind and rescue them from the difficulties that they're experiencing and teach them how to live their lives in the best of ways in this world until they die and until we are all resurrected. And by doing this, we hope that many will be guided to Islam and at the same time the proofs and evidences will be established upon all of mankind as well. And the second aspect, the second aspect as to why it is important that all of mankind know the guidance contained of the Quran is the dire need of the Muslims to understand and be reminded of the guidance contained in this Qur'an, which is the main source of their religion and their beliefs. Many Muslims have been affected and influenced by materialism, secularism, and atheism, as well as the adornments. They've been affected by the adornments of the worldly material life, especially now in the 20th century. Many Muslims have also been affected and influenced 
by unjust laws, unjust ideas, incorrect methodologies and ideologies, traditions, customs, and unfortunately, morals and ethics which are incorrect and have no basis in Islam or Islamic theology. And we unfortunately find many Muslims looking to other than the Qur'an and other than the traditions of the Prophet and taking them as an example for guidance in worldly, political, social, psychological, family and sometimes religious affairs. So for this reason we want to remind the Muslims that you already possess the all-encompassing guidance contained in the Qur'an which guides Muslims in all of their affairs and all aspects of life. And when the Muslims know, realize and understand and are reminded of this, we hope that this will encourage the Muslims to implement and practice the Qur'an within their hearts, within their minds, within their bodies, upon their tongues, in their places of work, in their houses, amongst their family, and wherever they go. And that the guidance contained within the Qur'an is good and applicable to every aspect of their lives. And after implementing the Qur'an into their lives, then they can present it to the people, to the non-Muslims, and to everybody that they come in contact with, that they can present it to the people as something they have knowledge and they have experience it about because they acted upon it, exerting themselves and doing everything in their power to make the people aware of the universal guidance contained in the Qur'an. And the Muslims would sacrifice everything they love to make this Qur'anic guidance known to all of mankind because it is the one and only truth that remains authentic and completely free from any changes or alterations on the face of this earth. So, sacrificing everything they love to make this Qur'anic guidance known to mankind because it is the one and only truth upon the face of the earth which will suffice and satisfy them for looking at being influenced or affected by other religious laws other ethics, other morals, other customs, or other systems. And as a result, the Muslims will rescue themselves and the whole of the world and all of its population from the problems which affect many of them today with the pure guidance contained in the Qur'an. So brothers and sisters in Islam, the guidance and the peace and the tranquility in our hearts and in our lives this is where it is found. This is the foundation of our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable all of us as Muslims to read the Qur'an, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to communicate Allah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by speaking with Him, by reciting the Qur'an, by pondering over the meanings of the Qur'an, by contemplating over the verses so that we can get closer to Allah and that so we can act upon this divine guidance and implement it into every aspect of our lives and then bring this guidance to all of humanity and all of the individuals that we come into contact with. Thank you for giving me the time to share this message with all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.